Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Video Game Drive-By, and apparently the world ended in 1997? I mean, sounds about right. We're playing Crystalis. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Although I know some people who call it Crystalis, that's not how it's pronounced. Crystalis? They got it wrong. <laughs> Alright, so what ex I've heard of this game, but is it like an RPG, or it's an is? It's a, basically, if SNK decided to make Zelda. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing? It's a very good thing. It is? Yes. Okay. So... The world ended, but the world survived, and... Then it didn't end. Yeah, a hundred years have passed, and now the Earth has magical creatures due to end-of-the-world magic, or end-of-the-world, like, radiation and stuff. So it's now a fantasy world with okay. science kind of rising back out of the ashes as well. So it's like a sci-fi fantasy? Yeah. Post-post-apocalypse is a good way to post, describe post -apoc it. Post-post-apocalypse? Yeah, yeah the, basically humanity has survived, and the world is now rebuilding, but now some ancient evil is rising up as well, so a hero sealed away before the Great War who they, was prophesied to be able to save the world after the world was fully destroyed, but able to continue its saving, that's you, and you're about to be woken up. This is me? Yep. Input a code name. Oh, I'm just putting in a name? Yeah. Alright, let's go for... You have like seven or eight. Uh, also, the just moving around makes the fireball sound from Mario. Uh-huh. Yeah, you'll hear that sound effect a lot in this game. Oh my god, alright. Um, I will say, the way you navigate the menus is weird. Kebab. You know what? I like it. My name is Kebab. <clears throat> Weirdly, it fits with like the two-syllable naming convention for a lot of the characters in this game. Does it? Yeah. Are they also named after food? No. What is... Oh, goodness. All right. Calming down with that. Oh. Uh... And that's you. This is me? Yep. How do I attack? No, you can't yet. You don't Are have a weapon. Are you fucking kidding me? You'll get one in a minute. All right. They just kick... My oh! <laughs> hey! There's a guy coming out of the cave! Did I just fucking kick my way out through the mountain? Uh, yeah. You just exploded your way through it. All right, cool. I think I might like this game already. Okay. So it's oh, shh. oh, they just talk automatically when you walk up to them. Yeah. Okay. There are great dangers outside of this town. Please be careful. Wow, for a little girl, you you had a, a majestic manly voice. Okay, look, kid. <laughs> Don't walk back into me. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, I ran from you when we first met. You just kind of kicked down half the mountain. You yeah. startled me a little. You fuck started your entrance, and I got spooked. Jesus. <laughs> Is the term fuck started? Yep. <laughs> Zebu said Zebu? Yeah. I think it's Zebu. Is, is that the person? Or that's the is person, that... yeah. Oh, there's a person, in the, like the town elder's name is Zebu. Oh, okay. Zebu says he's having a hard time with the windmill guard. He is always sleeping. I take it that's a thing I'm going to have to deal with? Oh, yeah. Ah. Wind here is always cold, but we're used to it. Fantastic. All right, is this church, or what is this? Uh, I believe that's that where sword? you go to heal. Oh, a shield? Oh, maybe it's a shield, yeah. Oh, yeah, the armorer. Ah. Yeah. You have zero money right now. But I still wish to buy. He didn't ask me if I had the the money necessary to buy. He just asked me if I wish to. I mean, to. this is true. The answer is yes. Tanned hide and a carapace shield? Yeah, that's a good uh, turtle. A turtle shell? Yeah. All right. All right, it's fine. Excuse me. And then that's your item shop. The well? The bag. Oh. What can I get? You wish to buy? Yes! Okay. So, medical herb heals you. Okay, antidote, antidote heals, heals you from you. poison. You won't warp need that boots? yet. Warp boots let you instantly travel to any village you previously visited. Eventually, Fucking you get bingo. eventually you get a warp spell, so you don't need the warp boots. But using warp boots also doesn't use any of your mana, so it's a All balancing right. act. And then the there's a guy who's always sleeping. Gee, I wonder if you'll need that. The ocarina. <laughs> yeah. The ocarina. Yeah. Good. The ocarina. Alright, so all right. what exactly do uh, I- Is check this Zebu? No. Oh, that's the other guy. Yeah. Check all the houses? Yep. Yep, it's a house, alright. Talk to the people. Alright. I- I'm the village elder. You woke from inside the cave, didn't you? Yeah, and I kicked the shit out- We were told you would arrive. Arrive? Yeah. I- I feel like I was already there, just it's, sleeping. Well- And deciding not to kick a mountain open. Yeah. Last hope, defeat evil. Receive this sword- this sword protect you on your quest. This and others like it will guide you. You have the Sword of Wind. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna to want to equip it. Apparently it is Zelda. Alright. I believe the, your, like, your select-ish button, I guess the minus button. Star button? 
Well, that, that brings up this menu. Oh, shit. Okay. The select button brings up the other menu. There you go. Oh. And then you... Is yeah. it already... Uh-huh. Oh, now using... You cannot drop. I yeah. don't want to drop. Be careful with the cancel button. It's your drop button. Are you serious? Yeah, you can drop. You can't drop anything important, but you can drop things that you'll have to rebuy if you drop them. If I drop it, it doesn't just stay there? No, I it just vaporizes. To... Oh my god. This is an NES game. It doesn't have... Mem you got memory constraints there. Also, uh, go, to the, go to... the Yeah, there you go. That's the cool thing. You can chop or you can charge it. Chop or charge? Yeah. All right. And the charge feels really satisfying because you can hold it and you can move while it's charged. Oh, you can move? But you oh, can't shit. move what? while charging. Okay, what were you saying before? Something about the alarm thingy? Yeah, the, uh, to the north is the old windmill. Right, and then he said something about the alarm thingy. Never seen it working. There we go. Know. If you ever need to wake someone up, the, uh, the alarm fluid it never fails. I never that's... knew that kid had a second set of dialogue. I just had to figure it out on my own. That's the thing you're talking about? Yeah. All right, so how do I get money to buy the alarm fluid? There's also somebody in that garage there, I think. Garage? For the cars? Rabbit! QQ. Aww. Eventually you can learn to talk to them and he'll tell you stuff. Because all rabbits are magical. You, you cannot kill the bunny. I'm hunting! Would you like to hunt some big-ass tiger people? Sure! Okay. Are they gonna kill me in one hit? Uh, no, but they will hurt you. You did mention big-ass. Yeah. Oh, uh, go to that house, too. This house, this house, yeah. okay. Because one of the houses Man, you are uh, urgent is a guy about that's gonna give you some free money. Is this the guy with free money? Yeah, there we go. This money is from the Wise Man's Zebu, it's yours. Hell yeah, let's go yeah. buy that alarm flute. Yeah, how's about that? You start a game and they're like, oh, you're the savior of the world. Here, have some money. <laughs> Instead of, hey, you're the savior of the world. Fuck you, get your own stuff. Yeah. I would also recommend seeing... Can you buy anything for the armor? I couldn't remember if you I was actually going to check. I know the tanned high was 100. I don't know how much the... No, because the shield was 80. Okay. So you want to get a little bit more money and buy both of those before you uh, actually go into the windmill cave after you open it. Are you serious? Yeah. Because they, they hit harder in there. Oh, good. So you should come across slime monsters and uh, tiger people out here that you can kill. Hi... And they basically just come towards you. Wow, you really were just saying tiger people. I, I yeah. thought you were... Coins. I kind of thought you were exaggerating a little bit. But no, it's literally yeah. a tiger person. And you'll notice below your force it says EX, that's your experience points. And 30 oh, is how many you need to get to level up. Leveling up instantly increases your the damage you do and the amount of life you have. Okay. Oh, it increased my damage as well. Yep, and enemies respawn continually, so you can just kind of run around this area to farm if you need to. Those guys give you two experience and two coins. Slime give you one experience, one coin. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, every game has a blue slime. <laughs> wow. All right. So I'm kind of I'm kind of seeing the game. It's it seems a little quicker than Zelda, but there's not as much yeah. like this game certainly's got the hustle going. <laughs> yeah, it's. I kind of feel like I'm moving in times too. Is this the windmill? Thing this is a cave you come to where you meet Zebu. Where I meet Zebu? Yeah. I thought I already met Zebu. No, that was the the mayor. The town elder is Zebu. Oh. All right. So. I'm a little bit nervous. Don't worry, there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here? Okay. Just Looking. a Zebu. Just a Zebu? I'm called Zebu. Kebab! You are the one we have been waiting for. Try to make the windmill work. If you do this, I will teach you some magic. I'm the chosen one. Okay. Fucking sold. Let's do this. Teach me the magic right now? What I do is I charge up and just hold the charge and just run around. Like, there you go. And you just hold it. That way, whenever you need it, you can just destroy <laughs> enemies. And the way the game great. works is you have... Four swords each for each element, and okay. then you get a, a bracelet and a gem that add additional levels to the, to the spells that you can charge up. Okay. The third level of which I believe uses mana, otherwise it's just like a, a powerful blast and a really powerful blast. Okay. Fantastic. And it's not until like the third one that it does anything fancy, though they are all elementally attuned, so as the game goes on you'll be cycling between your swords. Oh my goodness. But thankfully the menu, once you get used to it, it's pretty quick and easy to just you know hit a button to toggle them, you know? Like, instead of having to dig through a massive menu, you've just got all of them lined up side by side and you just pick the one you want to use. Okay. All right, so this is... Now, I know this is not really a... Um, I take it that's probably the windmill. Yeah. So, now, I know this is not a, uh, a concern on the, um, the, the, S, the NES emulator on the Switch, but, yeah. like, back in the day... Because, you know, Zelda, you had to, to save it on the NES one. You had to die first, then you had to choose save, and you had to... Like, hold reset yeah. as you turned it off. Good yeah. god, this one slime is fucking my shit up. Well, this game was actually built with saving in mind on the cartridge, not ported from a different platform that used saving, because Zelda was a disc system game originally, so its saving was less oh, stable. Okay. This game, I never had a problem with this one erasing my save on me. Okay. I mean, like, what did you have to do? Was it just the same as, um, uh, it just, it just a press command? Press the, the start button, then press the select button. Or B, I think. B? No. Huh. 
Maybe, maybe it's... Press select. Then press start. Start. There it is. Oh, okay, so this was how you would save back in the day. Yeah, and then you could also choose to load at any point, too. Okay, that's kind of cool. And the fact that it gave you two slots was nice, too. Yeah. Okay. Not many games were as nice as Zelda in giving you a couple of slots. Yeah, no. Still kind of shocks me that, uh, even to this day, Pokemon doesn't do the, that fucking thing. You have to have one... Per profile. Yeah. And actually, this pissed me off. I actually had to buy a, um... What was it? A, uh, a power saves oh, thing? Yeah. It's like a... Oh, I know. Originally, yeah. Well, for people that don't yeah. know, thank you. Yeah. Was uh, originally a, uh, a cheat device, but what you could also do with it was you could make backups on your computer. So before I bought a like a copy of Alpha Sapphire in addition to my Omega Ruby, I would just like I'd play my normal game on Omega Ruby. I would save all my stuff over to my computer. Yeah. Then I'd wipe the game and then start another game. And then when I wanted to go back to my original one, wipe the new profile or save that to my computer, then wipe it and then transfer my old one back to the uh, to the cartridge. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know that this is worth all the trouble. I'm just gonna buy another. <laughs> I'm gonna buy an Alpha Sapphire for myself. That's... I believe in the upper right corner there should be uh, the path to the actual windmill, not the cave itself. So what was this gold staircase up here then? Um... There was some... Oh! That's where the cave is gonna be. So the gold staircase, that'll take you to the windmill cave, or to the windmill itself. So, okay. Oh, okay. Also, watch your health. Yeah, uh, well, I, I mentioned before that the slime was fucking me up. Yeah, the slimes, will, they'll get you if you're not careful. In the next area, they can actually poison you. Oh, fantastic! All right, I think I'm going to get to 100 coins, and I want that armor. Because I want to I wanna wear a tanned hide. You also get jump boots, and they're really fun. I what? You get jump boots that are really fun, because, like, the bouncing is just really satisfying. I want to jump. Oh, God! <laughs> hey, look, slime you, of doom! Look, you little shit! Tired of You're like nonsense. five away from a level up. Already. Yep. There we go. I remember when I was a kid, I grinded this area until I was level five before continuing. Oh my goodness. And I just breezed through the game at that point. Jesus. Just because I was well too prepared for everything, so like I was just blowing through enemies and leveling up super fast. Because you're so over leveled? Yeah. Let's this see. is the kind of game that if you are willing to do it, you can over prepare. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a. Uh... Like just remembering, one more and you level up. Oh, I'm getting, I'm going for the armor though. Okay. I want that? I want the the fancy clothing. But no, it just reminds me, I was um, when we were occasionally we'd bring up or I'd bring up that um, that I occasionally play sure uh, to equip it. Yeah, no, thanks, mom. You're welcome. Be sure to eat your beans. <laughs> just bringing up that um, I would occasionally play uh, Final Fantasy IV on on DS. Yeah. Well, DS version on my 3DS. And I mentioned how it's, uh, like, it's so difficult, it's difficult trying to get used to, like, all the new stuff about it. Yeah. Because I'm not, uh, like, I, I played the Super Nintendo Final Fantasy 4, or 2 when it was in America, and, oh, I can one-shot these guys now. Yep. Oh! <laughs> well, damn, Yeah, son. leveling up shows it's, it, it, it's, uh, it's used pretty quick. Alright. And I like that it, they, they close the distance while you're charging up, so like there's a bit of a challenge to it. Like, the game is subtle, but there's a good game here. Right, I see it. Cause um No oh, before I before I Yeah, sorry. Jump track, I'm gonna derail. But just like I remember it got to the it frequently got to the point where I would have to look up a um a walkthrough on the DS version of Final Fantasy IV, because you would always have to be... You have to use a very specific order of moves for all the bosses. And if you messed anything up, you were just immediately fucked for the entire fight. Oh. And there were some times when you would have to depend on some of the uh, the augments, like the abilities that you can get from other characters. Yeah. But they were missable. Yeah. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't prepare in a specific way. Yeah. So, like, a bunch of the... The boss fights I'll look up are like, oh, you should use, so you should start by using such and such ability. Oh, cool. How do I get that? You need an augment that you missed in the first three hours of the game. Oh, well, fuck me then. Yeah. And every fight depends on this ability that I don't have, so I have to over level because all of them will say recommended level, and it's like 15 under what I am. Yeah. But, but you're I still, still, getting still your, 
but I still have so much trouble because I don't have this one ability that just easy modes all of the bosses. Yeah, and Final Fantasy IV is a game that will absolutely push your shit back in if you're not careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That is... It, it gets irritating at times. You know what I like, like about the DS version, though? What's that? It makes my boy Edward useful. How? You can put the augments on him. Why? So that he's useful. He's fragile. He'll take two hits, and then he's dead, and then the augments aren't useful anymore. Bah! Oh, but what I was saying, um, what I was gonna say, what I was gonna derail to when you mentioned that, uh, that there was a good game here, it just reminds me, I used to, I mentioned a couple times I used to have, uh, Nintendo Power, yeah. like that old magazine, and they would have, like, a, um, a top 30 for, uh, for the different, um, game systems, like top 30 NES, yeah. Game Boy, and Super Nintendo games, because that was all it was at the time. I remember Chrysalis was usually up either at or near the top for NES. Oh yeah, this is and like I one of my favorites. And I'd never played this, so I didn't know what was so great about it. Like some of the the games I recognized, like Kirby and The Legend yeah. of Zelda and whatnot, which Zelda was there for a long time too. Zelda lived there. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It was it practically made its residence at top, at like number one, and occasionally let others in. It occasionally let them rent the number one spot, but yeah, Chrysalis, I remember seeing it a lot, and it, I just hadn't played it myself, so I didn't know what the appeal was. Have you also noticed something about the tiger people's behavior since you leveled up? Uh, no. They don't run towards you. They run away from you. Are you sure about Some that? Some of them were running away from you, yes. This like, guy most certainly That was one ran not. into the trees and was going away from you. <laughs> that one most certainly was not running away. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <sighs> Alright, look. Okay, how do I heal? Uh, you like go to the inn back at the town. Oh, I have to go all the way back well, to the Actually, you inn. can go in there. There shouldn't be any monsters. Oh, can... Is there an inn in here? No, but you can go ahead and wake up the guy and open the... Or get the windmill key and do that part, and then you can go back to the town and go to the inn. Like, oh, while you're okay. here, you might as well do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, okay. Wait. Uh... Okay, so there's no monsters? No monsters. Here? Hey, buddy. Z's. Okay, so how do I use the, uh... There should the, be a... Yeah, there you go. Now using the alarm flute. And now I think no! the B button uh, will let you use it. Or the A button. Oh, I had to strike him okay. while holding the... <laughs> while holding the flute. Don't do that again! Hey, too. please don't tell us if we take the start with the windmill. Zoom says a strange ball is hidden in this kit. A ball? Yeah, that's the. It's like the gem that goes on the hilt of your sword. Oh. And then you get a power bracelet. That I now have that. windmill key. Okay. <laughs> Just fucking love when when you're walking toward the screen, that little kick up animation. Like you fucking get on him and come oh, over yeah. whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Jesus. Just the the downward running the the walk cycle. Oh yeah. That's Our great. swole hero. Yeah. All right, so how do I... It, it, the key replaced the flute. Uh, it replaced it? Sort of. Yeah. All right. The windmill begins to work. All right, great. How do I get the ball thing? Go out. Oh, God. Now you have that place. That's full of monsters. I imagine so. You know what? It, I'm going to take now to a... Uh... Hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. How's it going? You, uh, you're going to... Help me say bye to all the viewers, and we'll, we'll be back next time. Give us a like for the tiger.